Hello out there in YouTube land. It's John. I know it's been a while. Uh, but, um, yeah, you know, I haven't updated this channel in a long time, and it's time that I start putting some content out there. Uh, I do want to mention that I did start another channel, and that's kind of why I haven't been put, posting any content here. Uh, <clears throat> I started, I really got into uh, vintage speakers and stereos, kind of hardcore recently. So I started another channel because I didn't want to, you know, add that content here and then kind of mix breeds and upset some people. <clears throat> um, but I did want to show you kind of what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not out in the garage today. I'm actually, uh, <laughs> I'm in the bathroom. It's really, really cold outside. It's, it's, down, to, it's down in the teens right now in Michigan. And um, I am doing a little bit of uh, woodworking. Uh, and we have a bathroom fan in here so I can, I can do some finishing work and it won't stink up the whole house. So let me just show you what I'm working on here. So these are some vintage Pioneer HPM 100 uh, loudspeakers. Um, very cool design. Um, some of you might be familiar with these. Um, these actually belong to a customer. Um, I've been doing some, a little bit of, uh, speaker restoration work on the side. Uh, these ones had some pretty bad dinged up cabinets. Um, they were, I mean, there's still scratches cause I didn't do new veneers, but, um, yeah, these ones, uh, they had a very modeled finish, um, splotchy. Um, shiny in some spots, very dull in most spots, and it, the finish looked pretty terrible. So I sanded down the, the uh, veneers without going through, and now I'm using uh, this Waterlox product, uh, which I'm a big fan of. I've been using that on all my speaker restorations, um, speaker finishing, and I really like it. It's a tongue oil based product, and uh, right now it's wet, so it's glassier than it will look finished. You can still, you can see there's still some imperfections, you know, that would have required um, new veneers to fix. But, you know, most of the scratches have been taken out. Oh, look at, look how pretty that wood grain is. Oh, I just love that. So, yeah, I think he's going to be very happy with these. <clears throat> uh, these have a really interesting tweeter arrangement, which I've never seen uh, it is a Mylar half cylinder, I guess. Um, and uh, very good sounding speakers. I think Pioneer uh, wanted to go toe to toe with JBL on their uh, like L100s. Uh, and these speakers, I think, are very comparable. These uh, mids have a little bit to be desired. There's a poke in that one, and this one's got a kind of a bad repair job on the cone. Uh, that's just a little bit of sawdust from sanding. Um, but yeah, these are beautiful speakers and they sound fantastic. I don't know how many of you are into vintage stereos, but these ones are real rockers, you know, comparable to Soren Vega and JBL uh, of the period. Fantastic sounding speakers. I really like them, considering actually buying them from him. But um, I don't know. I've got my heart set on some JBLs too, so. All right, well, I'm going to... Do a couple more videos here, guys, to uh, kind of update you on some projects I got going on. And um, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Peace.